Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So for my first video, I'm going to bring back the favourites videos. Like, do you guys remember seeing them? I used to just love watching people talk about their favourite products. Apologies guys in advance if you do see some greenish glare coming from my eyes, from my glasses, but it, that's because I'm, I'm recording from my laptop. can go without my glasses, but I don't know about you, I prefer to see clearly, <laughs> especially for my first video, like, could you imagine? Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, that was a swift transition. I didn't really move or go anywhere. <laughs> I'm still here. But yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these products into different categories. And yeah, the first category is skincare. I love skincare. Personally, I prefer it to makeup. I just love skincare. I love learning about different skin types, the products that are good for your skin, that help a certain condition, etc. And so the first product that I've recently been loving has been this Retinol Sleeping Night Oil from Province Beauty. It's made in the USA and I actually, ooh, oops. <laughs> Lucky it was closed. <laughs> um, anyway, I actually, I got this from TK Maxx. This one is cruelty free. Sorry, I keep, I keep banging my, my bed so the screen wobbles. So apologies if you feel like a bit screen sick, I guess. But anyway, you can't stop me because you can't really talk to me, but I'm going to try and, <laughs> I'm going to try and tame myself. But yeah, so this again is, um, cruelty free, it's natural, and I absolutely love it. It doesn't look like I've, <laughs> I've used a lot of it, but I have, generally, like a lot, a, a little, I mean, goes a long way, I'll show you. It's made out of safflower oil, so I think that's the base. Um, and just so you see, like, look, oh, sorry, but there you go. Honestly, I put about two drops. Like, if you can see, it is quite runny, because it is so light, it absorbs quite quickly into my skin. Like, for, like, look, it's already pretty dry. It does leave the skin looking a bit dewy. And because it's got retinol, it has to be used during the night because retinol is a particular ingredient that does not like sunlight. It's very sensitive to the skin. My skin hasn't really reacted badly to it. They do say your skin tends to go quite red when you first apply retinol. But I've, I've I've been quite lucky, I guess. So, I don't know if you can hear, it's plastic free, which I love. So that's mainly why I kind of grabbed it quickly from the shelf. It was the only one left and I was like, oh, I need to try this. And also not only because it's plastic free and it ticked all the other boxes of cruelty free, natural, etc. but also it's like a little snow globe. It's got um, dried lavender flowers in there which actually it smell the oil itself smells of lavender which is which is quite lovely i use it as both my serum because it's got retinol and also just my just my facial oil the second product in the skincare category ha is i'm really excited to show this actually i love this little gadget i guess it's uh, a little gua sha here we are so i got this off amazon to be honest, I got this really, really cheap. What I do is I I, just, I did a few surveys and accumulated enough to sort of cash out a £10 Amazon voucher. It's stainless steel, so it's, it's quite heavy. Um, it's not light. This helps the product actually absorb into your skin a bit better. It does come with a bit of, with some instructions on how to use the gua sha, but Upwards and outwards is how it basically describes it. Dessigné, so it's very French. So yes, and now on to the second category. The first product in this category that I've recently been loving has been from Beauty Chef. This adaptogen in a boost formula. Sorry, it looks a bit grimy. It's actually, again, TK Maxx still got the price and I got it uh, for $12.99. It says it contains fermented papaya, which the reason it's fermented is to help it 
to become friendlier and easier on your gut to digest and also to create those uh, a natural probiotic. It's got really nice gut friendly ingredients as well as um, vitamins B6 and B12. Just overall help the complexion of your skin. So yeah, and it tastes really sweet as well. So it's really nice to drink. I'm really liking it. And oh, Beauty Chef and Adaptogen drink. Yes, 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 I love. <laughs> so the second product in this category is a tea. And it's this Puka Revitalize Organic Tea. And this actually was free, I'll have you know. So on the front it says it's got cinnamon, cardamom and ginger, which not only are great for this cold weather, but also because they are revitalising ingredients. They help boost your energy naturally. They're quite soothing to your to your gut with the cinnamon and as well just for digestion or overall. It's also got orange peel, licorice, root, elderflower, uh, green tea, black peppercorn and again some other ones. I've not had a tea that had all those sort of ingredients paired together. It's actually really really delicious. I love Puka overall as a brand hence why I sent that um, positive feedback email just because they're plastic free and organic. They're really good. They're creating some really nice flavours. So yes I have this usually in the mornings, I tend to have a, a tea every day. Because of the licorice root, actually, it does have that aniseed flavour to it. Uh, so it's kind of sweet enough, and which I really, really like. Yeah, so I don't really pair it with anything else. So this is very, very good and revitalising. Okay, so now for the book category. I don't know if I've said, actually. <laughs> I love reading. I personally really enjoy getting into a really nice book. I've read this book twice already, uh, but most recently I've read it again. And oh, it just, it's beautiful. Like uh, I want to just recommend it to absolutely everyone. And that's this, Pigeon English by Stephen Kelman. If you have read it, I mean, isn't it just amazing? <laughs> but if you haven't, it's basically, it's about this boy who is originally from Ghana and he comes to live in the UK for the first time. He's, oh, I think he's in year seven. So he's only like 11. Super sweet and just so innocent. He witnesses a crime, uh, a stabbing to be more accurate. Him and a friend pair up to try and sort of help the police find the killer and it's just beautifully documented. Like I said, it's so innocent, it's so childlike that you really feel like you're Harry, you're seeing the world through Harry's eyes. Yeah, it's just so humane and gentle, but also really provoking because it makes you really open up your eyes, the cruelty of the world, really. Um, it's a really easy read. But it does target the heartstrings and it is quite emotional. And I get like a, I mean, it is the reason why I read it twice. It's just absolutely beautiful, really nice and heartwarming. And yes, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend Pigeon English. If the lighting has changed, I did have to put a light on. It's become a bit dark in here. I think it's going to rain. But anyway, I just wanted to get this video done. So on to the next category, and that's TV and film. This series I've been quite obsessed with recently. I binged through season one within within a day, definitely. And I just literally sat down one evening and I was like, oh, let's just see what this series is like. And I just was hooked. And now I'm on season two. It's Emily in Paris. It's just so American, I guess is the term so predictable sometimes of what's gonna happen in the show, but I don't know, it's humorous. It's quite funny to watch. Her outfits are ridiculous. Like who wears that out on a daily basis? <laughs> that alone makes me laugh. There are bits also in the show where they do talk French. I used to live in Paris for a year as part of um, my uni degree. 
and really enjoyed it. I recommend it because it is a good laugh. Yeah, that's all of my categories. Very short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video and yeah, I hope to see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. I'll stop rambling now and I will see you next time. Bye.